Hello friends, this is Scott, and here's another look at the hobby farm when I got down uh, last weekend. It's been a very busy week with Thanksgiving and everything, so a little late getting this vlog out, but here's a look at how the place looked when I first walked in the door uh, on my latest trip down. So you can see the walls still need to be done in the, in the front room, in the living room there area. And there's some uh, more painting needs to be done in the back wall there where I did some patching and in the, on the dining room area. In the, there's some wall areas that I really had to do a lot of patching, so I had some big holes. So uh, you can see the original color again. And there's some of my patching. And I had to, you know, again, I paint and then I patch and I paint and I patch and I paint and I patch. But it's coming together and I'm getting closer and closer to being able to uh, get some flooring in. And uh, so I'm pretty excited that maybe the next trip down, I can finish up some of the basic painting and then I can uh, get going on the flooring. Well, I'm strolling down the hall and I always find more spots I got to touch up. So there's some uh, more little bit of touch up there. I haven't painted it yet, but uh, I always fill in holes when I see them. And as I come down the hall, it's starting to look okay. But then here you see in this hall, I haven't done this yet. I've done the patching, but I haven't done any painting. I think I've done one coat on the ceiling. But as you can see, I still got uh, quite a bit to do on this trip down. And there's the little laundry area. And here's the uh, old cat room. And again, you see reminiscent of all the patching I did on the, on the hundreds of holes in the wall. But I did, you know, have some sanding to do. And I've, I've got to get that window replaced. And I've got to uh, paint this room and get the ceiling done. So got a lot of painting to do and only a day and a half to be down here doing it. So uh, with Thanksgiving and... Uh, it's been a going to be a very busy, busy week. It's the door to the bedroom that I'm using that I will you know, totally remodel that room last once I have all the flooring in and uh, and then I can move the bed from there into here and then just uh, finish up that bedroom. But here's the master. Lots of holes. I patched them, but I've got to paint the ceiling and I've got to paint the walls. I've only done a little bit of, a, of a one coat around the edge of the ceiling, but I've got, you know, I want to do at least two or three coats everywhere and uh, just have lots and lots to do. Now here's the master closet. Now they knocked out the wall. So this closet's actually attached to the closet from the, the bedroom that I'm occupying right now. So uh, I don't know if we'll leave it that way, but it's a, it's a good sized closet. And here's the master bathroom. And I don't think I've ever shown this so far, but he's, they did some rinky dinky things. There's a heat lamp hanging down and the shower needs some, uh, some tile placed on the top there. It's uh, not doing too well with water damage, but it, you know, the, the bones are good just a basic bathroom and, and uh, over time we'll put a lot of money into this and, and make a lot of changes, but I gotta, I gotta watch the budget because uh, <laughs> I've been spending quite a, bit of, quite a bit of money. You can see the nice greenhouse out the window there. That'll be gone bye-bye as soon as spring hits, but, but it's, a, it's, it's, it's a nice little home. It's not big, but I, you know, I just need a little getaway place for the weekends and for holidays and, and to bring family down. And I got to advertise that I am going to be a grandpa in March. Uh, my older son is uh, just got married this week, and they're going to have a baby in March. So uh, I'll be a grandpa, and I'm pretty excited about that. They don't want to know whether it's going to be a boy or a girl, so we're going to have to wait for that. But but this will be a little hobby farm to, to bring the grandkids down and uh, and have them be able to enjoy some animals and, and be in the great outdoors. So now Here's a look at the front room after I clean some windows. Uh, I've got to get rid of all these ugly blinds that we, they've got there. But I, I did make a trip to the store, and so I've got, uh, I've got all the blinds ready, or most of the blinds ready to, to take down. But you can see a little glimpses of the outside, and the weather's pretty, pretty nice. So I've, I'm tempted to go outside and, and do some work, but I've got to get this painting done. I've, I want to be able to make it comfortable so that my family can come down and, uh, and help me, <laughs> as well as just spend time and, and enjoy the place. But, so here's after I got her all done. Uh, the painting of, of the front room is, is complete in the, in the kitchen area and dining area. I'm always gonna have a few little touch-ups probably that I'll just keep working on. There's some stains that bleed through the ceiling uh, paint particularly, but things are looking pretty good. Uh, I got two coats of paint on these walls and, and uh, sometimes with the you know, daylight, the shadows, it's, it's a little hard to see. But this place looks, you know, take my word for it if you can't tell, it's a, it's 110% better than it was uh, when, I, when we bought the place. And it looks uh, bright and cheerful and uh, we're uh, making it a home. So again, the cabinets will be painted once I figure out the flooring. But there's so many holes I've had to patch in the walls. As you can see, as I'm walking down the hall, if the light's hitting a certain direction, you can still see the patching. So I don't know if I'll redo some texturing or, or if I really care that much, but... 
was able to get a couple coats of paint on the ceiling and I and I got at least one coat on the wall here, or part of a coat. It looks like I still have some patching. And I come into the cat room and I still haven't got to the walls here yet, but I did get to the ceiling. And uh, so we're looking looking better there. So next time down, this is going to be the, the where I start, is in this room, painting the walls. And it'll look so much better when I get this done. Now, I haven't bought the kills that I'm going to use to paint the floor yet, so that's something I need to do. I forgot about that. Uh, I was at the store today buying more paint, and I uh, forgot to get the kills. So that'll be another... I don't think I have time this trip down. Uh, the next trip down, I should say. But the master bedroom, I did do a couple coats on the ceiling, so it looks better. And the walls are still needing to be done. So that's uh, it's going to be wall painting. That's going to be the priority next time down. And I did get some blinds, so I'm going to try to put some blinds up also. I've got to paint, and especially in the front room, I've got to paint the window sills. I did paint the master bedroom window sills. It's hard to tell with the, with the light there, but they're ready for blinds. So I can throw those up as soon as I have the wall paint done. And that's another little closet there. But uh, as you can see, there's lots of touch-up in here to do, and uh, we'll see. But this is well, why I love to paint the ceilings. This is what I looked like uh, after the first day. So anyway... Well, I'm having a good time down here. I hate to paint, but it's not been a big burden uh, because I do see a vision of what this place can be. And it's coming around. And again, uh, when I get the blinds up, and it's going to look a lot better. And then I, you know, as I look outside, I, I long to be outside, but it's, it's pretty. And the weather's been fairly nice. It's been in the 40s during the day probably, so not too shabby. But we did go hit the flooring stores. We hit a couple, and we're like, these are some options that we could choose from, so... If you have any opinions, let me know what you think. I'm thinking darker, but uh, we'll see. I'm just going to do a clickable laminate. And uh, that's a pretty floor, so I don't know if that's going to be the choice or not. But we had turkey day, and I'm not going to do a whole video on what I, I did it last year. But this is the big easy cooker that I cooked the turkey in. It's a propane, you know, no oil, it's just propane. And it gives the perfect turkey, it cooks the perfect turkey every year. And as proof, you'll see here it is. And we bought such a small turkey, uh, we didn't realize how small that we had to run to the store and grab a ham. So anyway, I promise this vlog will not be a home inside construction vlog forever. Uh, I will, I'm definitely going to get back to planting and doing those things. But right now, when the weather is iffy and I've got to make this place livable, I've got to, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. And, you know, that's construction right now. So hope you can bear with me until we get back outside and do some fun stuff in the garden. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you like what you see. Thank you.